In this video, we're going to take a look at Microsoft Teams backgrounds. So we'll go through every way you can jazz up your face and your background with Microsoft Teams in 2024, including the new Decorate feature, which comes as part of Teams Premium, which uses AI to customize, jazz up, clean up your background. So stick around until the end to find out more about that. So here we are in Teams. I'm just going to start a new meeting via the Meet app. If you want to know more about the Meet app, then click this video next and jump ahead to where we talk about the Meet app in Microsoft Teams tips and tricks for 2024. I'll jump into the Meet app and click on Meet now, start a meeting and that'll jump me out into, I'll see you on the screen. So we've joined a meeting and before you join the meeting, you can click on effects and avatars and change your background and some bits about your face in Microsoft Teams if you want to. So let's click that and then I'll, I'll switch out and make myself a little bit bigger so you can see a bit better. But here's how you do it before you even start the meeting so you can see what you're going to look like before other people see you, before you even join the meeting. So we'll come on to avatars at the end of the video because I've not tried it yet. I can walk through it together. I'm not convinced about those, so happy to be proven wrong as I take a first look. So I've got on portrait blur, which is a relatively new feature. There used to just be standard blur, which is kind of good if you're in a coffee shop or somewhere public where you just don't want people in the background to be walking past, look at your screen and then see themselves on your screen. And it's like, oh, you know, I was, I was you know, trying to get away from the wife and now she's on, recorded on someone's video, something like that, you, know, you don't, don't want that. So sort of blur out so you can't see anything. For me, especially in my office, which it's not really doing right now, if I pick up the, the camera, it might help. Sometimes it like glitches with the the light fitting up here. So if I put my hand up, you can kind of see like between my fingers, it's it's not blurring the light fitting. Sometimes it does that with my head. I'm not rearranging my entire office just to have Teams calls at work. If you're watching this video, you're not gonna do that either or might not be in a position to do that. And so the portrait bullet is then just a bit nicer, so it just makes it look like you've got a fancy camera. Compare that to none. If you're on a Mac, you can actually come up and use some options. If you're using your phone as the camera, which I would recommend if you've got a Mac, just connect your iPhone to your, to your Mac and you can use your iPhone camera rather than the webcam because the webcam on most MacBooks is pretty bad. And on there, you can choose portrait, which I had been using until Microsoft uh, did their portrait blur. So I've got none on there, but I've got using the Max version. And I quite liked it better than a standard blur, but you can see it still sort of glitches by my by the lamp sometimes. And it makes my, the edge of my face quite blurry, um, especially my hair. So um, now I actually prefer Microsoft's portrait blur. Again, I'll just make myself, I'll join the meeting and then I'll come into the options just so that I'm a bit bigger on the screen. Remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified every time a new video comes out. We've got new videos on Microsoft Teams, Microsoft 365 and how to be more productive at work coming out every Tuesday. So if you're in the meeting, you can still change your background with effects and avatars. It's actually, you know, I'm a bit bigger. I'm, my ears are a bit blurry, uh, actually. So let's turn that to none. You have to keep applying it when you're uh, in the meeting to be able to see it, or you can do a preview, which sort of jumps you out into there, but then other people can't see. But if you apply, turn on video, that's going to everybody. So these video animated backgrounds are, are relatively new. I'm not a big fan of backgrounds, like completely blocked out backgrounds. I you know, quite like to see into people's, into people's homes and see the stuff they've got on the shelves and things like that. Maybe that's just me being nosy, but I get it if you're like, I don't know, a student or just fresh into work and you still live with your parents and the only place you've got to work is the dining room or the, the, the kitchen or the lounge and your mom's walking around the background and there's like TVs on. It's like, yeah, you want to just turn on voice isolation mode, turn on noise cancellation and just hide your background. I kind of get it. And sort of these animated ones are then pretty cool for that. They've had the other ones for ages, so you can have like a, a, a random setting some more convincing than others or just some like you know fun ones and you can add your own one or your company might have provided a background for, for you uh, like a corporate background you can show all and see all of the ones so they've got quite a few now i've uploaded my own one which i don't tend to use you can see it's backwards for me but should be the right way around for someone else but depending on what you've got in your background then teams like 
condenses your view to someone else, depending on how many other people there are on the screen, so that your background could get cut off. So like the me times in the top right, left hand corner, depending on which way around you're looking at it. And so if, you know, if I'm then a square to fit other people on the screen for other, for when other people are watching, then um, the branding sort of sort of gone, so you have to bear that in mind. And also then you can see your sort of blend, you know, it doesn't do a great job of like keeping the background there. So yeah, I, I, don't, I don't use those. I just uploaded that for a, uh, for a test. So if we jump back to non, what we're gonna do at the end of the video is go to decorate, because that's the new feature for Teams Premium, which is pretty cool. So stick around if you're interested in that. What we're gonna do first, if we jump back out of backgrounds, is uh, go through frames and then styles and Snapchat. So all of these, if you've never used them before, which I haven't, when you click on it, it's gonna get you to install another app, which is easy, easier clicking add. And then this puts frames, put stuff like in front of you. So you could like choose a background. So say with this dreamy one, you can have something behind you and something in front of you, which, which might be okay for something novel, but I can't imagine many people using that at work. So I'm not a massive fan of frames. I guess you could have some like ones where like we're just doing Q&A so you can put your frame. Yeah, we're now doing Q&A, but I, why would you want stuff randomly in front of you? I'm not sure. Maybe you could make someone a birthday boy when it's their birthday and, uh, and embarrass them at work. Yeah, I'm not sure, but yeah, let's go through the other ones. So the styles, which then like change the, it's more like a sort of Snapchat filter and you can see Snapchat is actually called out there. So I did do a separate video, I think during lockdown when people were messing about with backgrounds and things to sort of jazz up their life because all they had was video calling. That's all we had to do, we weren't allowed out of the house. Imagine that. Um, so there was a way you could have Snapchat lenses sort of put onto Teams, but you had to like do a third party thing and it, it adjusted your camera and it's quite difficult to get to get rid of once you install it. But if you're interested in that, then I think here's the video there. I'll try and find the old one. But now Snapchat's built straight into Teams. Again, if we click something, it's gonna say, yeah, you're actually sending data to Snapchat to get that to, to work. And if we apply that, it's like using the same Snapchat sort of AI where it's like blending my face a bit. What's that one? Natural beauty. So we already had natural beauty. Let me know in the comments below if you disagree. Big square glasses. Well, I've already got quite square glasses on. And now I've got other square glasses and almighty mustachio. Is it going to work with my beard? Look a bit like Mario now. So that's quite technically impressive that the AI is working, but you know, same as Snapchat if you're used to that. And Maybelline ones, I guess might be useful if you are used to wearing makeup at work and you've just jumped on a Teams call and you haven't got time to do your makeup, maybe you could get AI to do it for you. I'm not sure, because I don't have that issue. Or I could soften my face. It's quite soft already. Look, plum, let's help get some plum on. So maybe that's useful for you, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know, if, do you use any of these things? I'm really curious if you already use these or if you think they would be useful. I don't use those, I like just to have a natural background or like a little bit of blur, if anything, or just standard blur if I'm in a coffee shop or something working and it's getting distracting. For while listen to me, I'm Gavin Jones from Me Time, where we help organizations be more efficient, happening to use Microsoft 365 predominantly to get more out of the licenses they're already paying for. If you have even got a hunch that you could be working more productively and more modern in your organization, then click the link in the description below to have a chat to see if we might be a good fit to work together. So two new things that I wanna show you one is decorate, and then we'll come on to avatars. So decorate, decorate your background. I'm pretty sure this is part of Teams Premium. Let me know if it's not, and if you've got access to it, let me know in the comments below. Start decorating your space. Current video will be turned off in order to preview your actual background. Maybe that's because the, the, the video's on to other people right now. So let's say got it. So it turns my video off to other people. And then you've got like, choose a theme so you can clean up fancy greenhouse celebration or surprise me. And it's gonna take my actual background and then make an AI sort of representation of it, presumably using DALI 3 or 4, whichever one that we're on at the moment that Microsoft have got from OpenAI, to sort of take that snapshot. So it must be doing something to get the background. And then it's like giving me a, a couple of options to clean up the background. One looks better than the other. So if we apply and turn the video back on so you can see it a bit better, 
it's then using like an AI representation. So it thinks my wife's didgeridoo is still there. It's made the lamp a bit more like Art Deco-ish than it is, as well as a bit of like Dalai Lama, not Dalai Lama, <laughs> Salvador Dali. Uh, easy to get those mixed up, isn't it? Um, it's made my lamp a bit rounder and it's put a glass of looks like red wine on the table for me where there isn't a table there which is uh, which should be nice for after i finish recording so that was clean up so it's cleaned stuff up for me like the, the room is a bit messy so i did it even with stuff on the floor and it, it cleans up let's make it fancy We've got two options for fancy let's go for i think the first one looks better it's put a random candelabra it's got a little blue seat in the background for me about the way so that's nice, got a, my blue up lighters working a bit better. And again, it's, it's decided I need a down lighter as well as the, my, my table lamp. So the, these might be useful for you to, to, to jazz up your background. Greenhouse, I'm not sure what that is. Let's turn my room with some greenery in. So it's got a plant on the ceiling. I'm not sure I would want that. It's got a floating plant over here. Let's try celebration. Surprise me was the best one I tried before I started recording. So let's see if it does something similar to what it did before. Celebrations, putting loads of balloons around. Wow, well, let's let's do the second one on that one. So give me a little candle and loads of balloons around my sort of real life loft office which is kind of cool so it's still giving you a view into someone's life and what's their what their house and background looks like but sort of jazzing up a bit which is i think is pretty pretty cool again i don't think i'm likely to use it in a normal teams call in work i'd rather just hit people be able to see my background even when i haven't got all the lights on i'm recording for youtube so surprise me done a few weird things the one's like underwater one's got some things let's generate some more one I did before recording looked like it made like a Minecraft version of my own attic, which was I thought was pretty cool actually. Generate more seems to be taking a lot longer than the first one. Oh, let's see. It looks to be pretty similar. Oh, there's the blocky one. Doesn't look exactly like it did before, but I think that's pretty cool. It's got like a Minecraft version of my attic. So it looks like a bit of a dinosaur in the background. More centered like that. So that's decorate. Am I like to use that work? Probably not. Is it worth paying for Teams Premium for that? Probably not. I've personally cancelled Teams Premium now that Copilot's come out because for what I need for work, if getting notes about meetings and then using that to, to write reports and things for people to see how they could get more out of Microsoft 365. If you're interested in working together, then book a call. Using the link in the description below. But yeah, if you don't know where to start in Microsoft 365, I come in see how an organization works and then recommend some ways they could work better happening to use microsoft 365 or where that's not the right thing to do happen happening to mention something else that you could make your work better as well so whether it's the process or culture or the tech then that's all covered but that's what's most useful for me is then whether i'm doing those workshops or just on proposal calls taking those notes and turn them in either into proposals or into you know a written report about the plan we're going to work on together that's what's most useful for me and Copilot is way better in Teams than Intelligent Recap in Teams Premium. So a lot of Teams Premium has got lots of webinar things and this decorate feature, which I'm not likely to use. Actually Copilot's way better and I'm surprised that for the Intelligent Recap, they're still maintaining both of those things rather than just making them into one because it's, it's night and day. The notes are night and day. So if you want to know more about that, watch this video on Copilot next. I'm not sure that's worth it for Teams Premium, but let me know what you think in the description below. Last thing we're going to have a look at, which is brand new for me, which has been out for, I think, for a bit, which I have not tried. I'm never going to do this at work. I say never, never say never, do you? Maybe when, uh, if the Apple, um, whatever it's called, what's it called? The new Apple goggle e headset thing, Apple Vision Pro. If that wasn't three and a half thousand pounds, uh, maybe when it's 300 quid, if they make it like a sport version, like when they did the uh, the Apple Watch, maybe we're all going to be doing this in the future. Who knows? But, uh, but for right now, Avatar's not really my thing. Definitely not going to use it at work. But let's just have a look at it whilst we're looking at Microsoft Teams backgrounds to see what you could look like if you want to use an avatar rather than yourself. So we've I've never used it before, so it says create an avatar. I think it's going to make me jump me out to install avatars from Microsoft, which is fine. Just add that in. And then it's jumping us into Avatar Builder, which is taking a while to load. The call's still on whilst we're doing this, so that's uh, good. Welcome to Avatars, Microsoft Teams. 
blah, 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 get started. Choose an avatar to get started. Do any of these look like me? This guy got a bit of a closer fade than I've got in my head, but I do have a hoodie on. It'd be good if it could use your video to suggest an avatar to start with. Let's start with him. I'm just going to put a bit more hair on the side of his head. <laughs> I don't have it shaved that high. Body shape, that'll do. I don't have a prosthetic. Skin tone is, oh gosh, made in purple. What was it before? Light rose. Maybe that one looks, looks normalish. Right, face. Face shape. Oh gosh, why, why do I need to go through all this? I remember doing this on the Wii many moons ago. That'll do. Right, eyes. Oh my gosh, look at all the different types of eyes you can get. What were they before? Right, that'll do. Nose, mouth. So you can go through and change all these things if you want. Ears, don't have a hearing aid. Hair, hairstyle. So how can we, that's like a really sharp cut there. I don't have that much on the sides. Anyway, let's go with that. Facial hair, we can change the color. So let's make that a bit blacker. Hair, let's make my smoky black. Change your eyebrows if you want as well. Blush, blah, blah, blah. Face lines. Well, I've got a few face lines these days, haven't I? And wardrobe. Oh, so I think that's what he's wearing underneath his hoodie. Let's just have a white t shirt. I've got a hood basic hoodie on. That's his bluish. Don't usually wear a hat. I do you have glasses though? I mean, I don't think his face looks particularly like mine, but maybe you could go through and sort it out. But let's just save that avatar. You can create up to three different versions to express yourself in Teams meetings and calls. I don't want to create a different version. So presumably that's my avatar built. Let's see then if we can switch into it. Oh, we go, look, your avatar. Oh, so if I move, I'm moving side to side at the moment, which you probably can't see, because I've got my phone as the camera for the call, and I, that's what I should record my videos on, so I can't record a video and record the Teams call. But it's I'm, I'm moving like really fast side to side. It doesn't track your head, but it does track, or tries to track, your lips but if I it doesn't actually track your lips it just tracks the sound so if I'm, I'm you can't see me I'm making my mouth really wide right now with no, making no sound and the guy just sits there you also move your eyebrows up and down his eyebrows don't move up and down they just move up and down randomly as you're speaking with the intonation of your voice which I guess is quite clever but it's really odd I don't I wouldn't not like to speak to someone like that in a team school that'd freak me out you can make him do stuff as he can wave yes ah oh, yes chef's kiss thinking and then you can show all so you can give you loads of different stuff so yeah I mean if you're using this on a quest headset which I think teams is in there now already or if you've got uh how do you get rid of your avatar? There we go. Yeah, if, you, if you're using Quest headset or something like that and you've got Teams calls in there and using it for a bit of fun, I guess that might be quite cool. Let me know if you're using VR for work and VR Teams calls. That would be interesting to know. Let me know in the comments below. And um, yeah, hopefully you like this video. If you got any value out of it, remember to give it a thumbs up before you leave. Click the subscribe button and the bell icon. If you haven't already, you get notified every time a new video comes out. We've got new videos coming out every Tuesday. And like all these people and our new member, Chris Brain, if you want to get more out of this channel, then consider supporting the channel using the join button below this video. Helps keep videos coming out for free and you get some perks depending on which level you choose. Highest one being access into members only videos. So we've got a members only course in there that used to be worth $500. It's now 50 odd quid a month, whatever it says in the join button link. And uh, yeah, consider if you can't afford that, and then just considering supporting with a couple of quid a month just to keep these videos out free if you got any value from them. And if not, thanks for watching so far. I'll see you in the next one.